A silent exhibit in the Savannah Mall is displaying clothes without a price tag. It is part of a national campaign to end victim blaming after a sexual assault. News 3's Danny Dykes shares the message behind the glass. I was wearing a pair of blue jeans and um, a regular, just a regular old shirt. He ripped my pants. Like he, I was trying to keep my clothes on and he ripped my button off of my pants. Like my button was gone. What were you wearing? It's a loaded question. People often ask victims after a report of rape or sexual assault. When you get blamed for it, it's your fault. You shouldn't have been there. You shouldn't have been with the people you were with. Ginger Lago was blamed for her rape. She says her actions were scrutinized along with her choice of clothing. Now passing by a shop window at the Savannah Mall, she reflects on her own story while facing the evidence of others. And there's countless people that you don't even know that's been through this and it's, it's really hard to get over. The Rape Crisis Center set up an exhibit to describe what survivors were wearing when they were attacked. A prom dress, jeans, even a workout outfit, all to raise awareness of rape culture. We want people to know that at the onset of a victim's disclosure, their response could either help them or hurt them. And oftentimes the response, when not favorable, can be equally as damaging as the actual assault. Pay attention to who's around you, who's following you. Um, and if you feel unsecure, go to somebody and say, hey, I feel like somebody's following me. Can you walk to the car with me? And survivors want people walking around to know it's not the clothes that cause harm, it's the person. This is out and about. I believe more people will come forward and share their stories and help people understand that it's not their fault. Danny Dykes, WSAV News 3. The exhibit will be on display for the rest of the month.